You know what the worst thing that could have probably happened to the Asober Elita show <laughs> is putting both hosts on a team with X Daily in a theme about Bill Cosby raping people. That would probably be, I think, the, the worst thing that could have happened for the listeners of our show. Welcome to the Sober Elitist, having said that. Sober? We awake? Yeah, it's early. We're, we're good. We're good. Uh, the early, the, the two-hour time, man. Holy shit. Slight difference. I know. So it's like really 7 o'clock for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I kind of alluded to it if you didn't see the post. Um, we've been airing this thing at 10 o'clock. Usually runs till 11, maybe a little bit after. See, the problem with that is when you're a married guy, right, and uh, your wife gets off work around 10-ish, and she, like, shows up in the middle of a show, you have to explain to her to shut the fuck up because you're doing a fake video game hockey show. And that doesn't really go over well, like, two weeks ago when she kind of took a pizza and stormed up the stairs. I can't even talk in my own fucking house. Ah! Um, and she had a point, I guess, but... When she found out it was because we were doing the Sober Elita show, she just... It's just misery. You know what I mean, Sober? I mean, you yeah. can't... Just... Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I married my... My wife kind of just lets me be. I mean, we have this this unwritten rule that, uh, you know, my area is downstairs, her area is upstairs. We might see each other <laughs> we when have we the go same to bed. Rule. You know... <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, when, when, when I do the show, I shut the door, you know, just whatever. And she, she knows not to fucking... You know, step foot anywhere near it you know? see like and i and i get that right yeah. i just kind of never really tell her what i'm doing she just assumes i'm down here talking to people you know i'm always talking on the headset when i'm on you know the game or whatever and i think she just assumes that's what i'm doing right so mm. um and my fucking buddy sold me up the river last week dude he was sitting in here <laughs> Um, and, and he sold me up the fucking river. He was playing, you know, Xbox on the other TV down here. She walks in. Now she wants to talk to him. Oh, hey, how you doing? Ah, 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 ah. And they're jabbing back and forth. And I'm like, I muted it. I'm like, guys, will you shut the fuck up? We're doing the draft show. We're doing the thing here. You know, well, actually, I didn't say that. I said, ooh, you know, and then You're he goes. You're definitely thinking it. Oh, he, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it. And then he goes to her, and oh, he's doing his, his, his video game radio show, and she just, this look of disgust came over her face. Like, so, <laughs> anyways, I'm sick of that shit happening. So here we are. It's 8 o'clock. Plus, the shit will get over around 9, you know, 9.15-ish. Um, the whole night ahead of you. People don't have to stay up if they wanted to listen live type thing. So we appreciate everyone tuning in at 8 now. We're here We're here now at 8. <sighs> okay. I've explained myself now. Um, draft <laughs> is here over. here comes the shit talk. People are... <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early. But yeah. we got... Um, Preseason games have been going on. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out Cosmic and uh, Cortez's show uh, from earlier this week, nor did I have a chance to check out the throwdown yesterday. But rest assured, I will do that, and uh, we'll try not to regurgitate too much of the same shit that they probably already covered. Um, sober, that's that's your department, because I think you've heard those shows, and I haven't got a chance to yet. Yep. But um, we have uh, we're Hollywoodless this week. Holly couldn't commit to 8 o'clock this week, but that's okay. That's okay because we always got something up our sleeve. Stealth Luca D, the number one overall pick, is with us this week. Luca, you can unmute yourself now You with your shitty fucking echoey mic. How's it going, bud? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? You know, we're uh, we're getting it done, man. We get the number one overall pick here. And uh, I'm going to start. I'll kick it off with Sober here, man. Is this the number one pick for you? For me, yeah. I mean, last last season he he proved it. Uh, he's he's got to be, you know, top top center in the league, um, and I value my centers very high. So that would be an easy easy first round first pick. Hmm. Although Is although not... if I was a captain, oh, oh. I, I might have taken Lamp. I just had to say it because okay. But if you're McGilla, than... <laughs> well, I always look at the captains too. Yeah, you know, if if yeah. that was a different captain at number one, it might not have been Luca, but it was McGilla. So for me, no one else was going there. Like there was no danger of it being anyone else. Remember, someone went on the throwdown. They were like, "Oh, he might take a uh, Saney 
which is Ezreal, mm-hmm. or Easy Real, or sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, and then they get them both anyways. Jesus. That that was that was quite the, quite the surprise on my in my mind. Mm-hmm. Just because, I mean, I mean a lot, I'm a lot getting of to the, see some highlights now, and he's pretty yeah, fucking good. And a lot of the people that are in this league have played with Sandy in a different one also. So they they knew him. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, knew. They, they knew what he was like and stuff. But... Well, Luca, let me jump in and ask you, man. Um, have you you guys been getting games in? Yeah, uh, the draft is Monday, right? We played Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we played almost every night, and I think Tuesday we scrimmaged against Agent's team, mm-hmm. and it was pretty. It was pretty fun. Um, I think we won every game. The last game went to overtime, and then okay. Wednesday we played just club against random people. And I think last night I couldn't play, but they played against. Uh, they scrimmaged against. I think Shock. I'm not sure though. I'm, but, Do you yeah, like the scrimmages, or would you rather play club? Doesn't really matter to me as long as they're sixes and they're like competitive. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we, we had that conversation. Doesn't too, matter like doing doing the club or the the scrimmage. Yeah, like some of us uh, on the putting it in. Um, some of us like uh, you know I'm in the camp of I'd rather just play club. Fuck the scrimmages. I, I hate setting them up. Um, I hate showing our hand, you know, and then I hate, like, if it, if it goes well, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, oh, well, congratulations, you beat us, you're supposed to. Or, you know, if you lose, oh, we beat fucking Daly's team, you know, it's just, I would rather just play club, get a feel of your teammates, um, see what kind of offense you want to run, see where who you want to play where, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, man, it's a, uh, I went on record saying... Now that you're here, Luca, that I, I thought your team, Magilla's team, is probably the best on paper, in my opinion. Maybe yours or DC's. I can't really decide, but I think I want to go with your team as being the best on paper. So you got a lot to live, lot to live up to. I'm no used pressure. to team uh, people oh, yeah. doubting, so I I don't. Doesn't really matter. We'll see how no. we we play. Well, it's fine like because. Team. Oh, you should. But it's funny to me because, like, last year you were on Jaeger Bombs, right? And, like, no one respected that team from the get-go. They're like, yeah, they got Luka, but what else do they have? And, you know, you just went on to uh, almost make a Cup Finals appearance, man. Um, this team's better. At least on paper. It's better than the Jaeger Bombs. So, uh, I predict that you guys will be there at the end. That's... That's kind of my feeling on it. Like he really hit a home run with that second pick, putting you with a uh, with a uh, Saney there, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good one-two punch. <clears throat> Both could carry the puck, move the puck well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that was our <sighs> plan. Because he messaged me a long time ago, say he was gonna pick me, and we've been strategizing who we're gonna pick, and uh, we're like, okay, if he falls. We're picking 100%, and then it worked out. And then Edge is really good. I like him, how he plays. Mm -hmm. Um, Miguel is solid on D. Dunn is pretty good on D. He has to get used to it because he played four last year, but he's solid. And the Lime I never played with before, but what I've seen from him is really, really good. So I agree with you that this team I'm on this year is better than last year. But also, the teams this year are better than last year as well. So, I agree we'll with that, that too. Works like out. overall, if you look up and it's down the lineups, yeah, no doubt. Um, there's going to be really good teams, like on paper that you look at, and then I think you're going to be shocked <clears throat> as to where they finish. Like, you know, for I'll use your team as an example because this happened to McGilla last year. You're like, holy shit, what a team! Like that's going to be. How are they going to lose? And they didn't make the playoffs, McGillis' team, last year. I'm not saying that's good. That's definitely not happening to you guys, but it did happen last year. I mean, he had, like, Joe Fist, Joe Stowe. Who was his other first-rounder last year? He I had can't remember. Biko. Okay, yeah, Biko. He had all those guys, and we were like, man, 
they're really going to contend and they didn't even make the playoffs. So like, I think that's going to happen. Well, it's definitely going to happen to someone. I, I don't know who it's going to be, but um, I don't know, man, if uh, Hansel Roberto, this is just what I heard earlier today. Cause I haven't seen it. Um, Hansel Roberto has chew therapy. His team is number one. And he's already made I, trades. He's or a trade. He did. Uh, I don't see that team number one. No offense to Chew Therapy or his team. They're going to be good. But number one, there are some stacked lineups, man. I I think um, this, I think this is going to be that season where you're not going to have the clear cut. Oh my God, they haven't lo- lost a series. They haven't, you know, that that sort of season. I think is all well. That's be the really idea. Competitive, right? It's all going to be really competitive it's where really competitive. any team, any given night, is going to be able to beat that other team. You know, it's not. It's not like, I don't know, I'll say jello time. It's not like back then, right? Right. Um, man, I wish we had, I wish we had like, like a neutral voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish yeah. we had somebody. Yeah, somebody that hasn't that paid could. attention to shit really and just kind of. Well, no, I, mean, I just mean like, I wish we, somebody, somebody without a dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that could offer some sort of uh, input <laughs> on what he thinks. Oh, hey, man, who's that? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey, Is guys. This on? <laughs> hey! Hi, Look guys. Look at Joe's it's here. Joe Thornton here. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to Joe. Welcome, Jumbo. Okay. Shout out, Joe. Mm hmm. Thank you. I'm not oh fuck! Joe's Luca here. Gives him a shout, shout out to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we can move on. Oh wait, was I wait wait was I not supposed to say that? I'm sorry, Joe. Sorry about that. Beauty <laughs> segue right you, there. You're freaking dick, Luca. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we were we were chatting a little bit before we went on the air, and, and Luca said, "I don't even remember what he said," but Joe goes, "Man, how come every time we talk, you have to be a dick?" <laughs> That's what the D is in Stealth Luca D. Oh, you didn't know? No, what you were saying, <laughs> you were saying. Uh, like, how was I going to answer a question? And you did, mm-hmm. like, a different voice. I'm like, wait, I sound like Joe? What the fuck? <laughs> I did, yeah. Like, sometimes I'm guilty of, thing. like, every Canadian sounds like Joe. I, it's just because I've known Joe for so long. So, I, I, like, every Canadian has the Joe Thorne accent to me, which is obviously not true. But, mm-hmm. anyways. Well, what Joe's here, man. Um, Joe, Joe is not in the draft pool. Joe, are you... Uh, like a, a waiver at all? I actually don't know the answer to that, so I'm asking. Yeah, but uh, I think I'm a second string waiver, so the chances of me playing a game are very slim. Everybody else very has slim. to go before me. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, Joe well, pulled fine. himself out this year, man. He's in the middle of a move. Um, pretty noble, man, yeah. honestly, because you didn't want to handcuff uh, uh, anyone that could potentially play you uh, and get screwed no. out of it. You know, if somebody built the right. draft around you being a part time player and 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 you weren't guaranteed to be there, it would kind of screw him. So kudos to you for doing the right thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having said that, um, you get to you. I mean, you're still around. You're still poking around the site. You you probably saw the draft. You know who ended up where. Do you have any like early impressions of who you think missed or hit or oh, well, if you were. Uh... Yeah. yeah, if you were going to be added to a team, which one would you want to be added to? You know, something like that. Without hesitation, I'm going to say DMART's team, because I believe that's the strongest team. Uh, they're deep forwards. The, the, the Goaltending, I'm not too sure. Tomahawk, uh, I haven't really looked at his game too much, but everybody else seems to be really good on that team. Um, after that, you got Daly's team, which is also a really stacked team. Um and ability, ability. I played a couple of games with his squad, and uh, I have to say they're they're going to be really good too. Uh, they might give away uh, give up some two on ones here and there, but uh, their forward line should be enough to keep them in in the games. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you brought up that team because we got to see them twice so far. They're very good guys. Um, if they have a weak spot, it's going to be their defense. And, you know, yeah. Bob, I love you, and, and, and Odd Guy, I love you too. Um, if they can clean up some of those two-on-ones that you were just talking about, Joe, 
uh, they're going to be really mm-hmm. difficult to play against because that offense is a cycling nightmare. But, hey, the league let it happen. They, they let Ability take Cosmic Fade, who, by the way, he was already great. He's even better at this game, in my opinion. He's better at 18 than he was at 17. And they let him take little Brian, which is no Regretsky. Sorry, I call him little Brian. Um, and and if you don't know him, you're going to. Uh, you, you're going to know him. And uh, Ability's been playing great in that, too. Um, like I said, our team's yeah. over. We saw them twice. So what were your first impressions of that, uh, the uh, Victoria's Secret? Kind of kind of same. I mean, it... it... The one thing I will say is be prepared to make sure your D stays back against that team. They they break out early. Um, at least that's what I saw. Uh, one or two of them. I'm not going to specifically call one person out for it, but um, they definitely play on the high side. Yeah, I mean, they know when to break out, especially Cosmic. I'll, I'll I'll call him out. Cosmic knows when to break the leak. He knows. Um, that's not a bad thing. That's that's good hockey IQ, and you got to be ready for it. Uh, we got caught on it a couple times. We weren't ready for it. But the thing is, it's they're not really a scary rush team. They're a scary cycling team. Do not let them get low. You gotta do whatever you can to uh, to break up their their cycle game. If you force them to try and play a rush game, you know, uh, up and down the ice, you're gonna beat them. But um, we weren't able to do that the other night. So, you know, kudos to them. They played great, and they look great. Look sexy. Sexy, yes. Luca, have you seen them play? Abilities team? Yep. No, I've only played against uh, Asian's team. But uh, they had, they look like a good team on paper. Cosmic Fades, really good at dangling, just a good player. I heard good things about Re- uh, Regretskis, and their whole forward lineup looks good. They're probably going to score, well, they'll be top two, top three in goals, probably, probably first. But, no, I haven't seen them. I agree with that. Um... And just to add to that, Tom FTW, I've never spoken to the guy in my life. I, I don't know a thing about him. Um, he's just as good as the other two. So if people didn't scout him properly or didn't realize that Ability was scouting him every single night of the fucking week, <laughs> you, know, you knew, you, you know. If I was captaining this year, which I wasn't, I would have taken that guy. I saw him play. I played against him. He's really fucking good. So, Tom, if you listen to this shit, I don't know if you do, but uh, you're looking great. Having said that, I'm I'm done blowing ability. Um, I'm really quite sick of it. You know the one, the, the one, the, so the we're one thing. Move. The one thing I'll I'll say mm-hmm. to you really quick is uh, a lot of the captains that were scouting a lot, they they tended to scout the same people pretty much a lot of times, and they still wound up getting pretty much everybody that they scouted. Don, that is a Don good point. His guys, ability with his guys, you know. There's, there's a lot of that stuff going on, which is amazing. Here's one. Here's one. Sober, you didn't do much scouting. Nope. Is that correct? None at all. Now, I mean, everybody knows who you are. You're not a, you're not a secret, okay? You've been around the block. And I'm not sure if Jumbo Joe realizes this. Joe, are you aware where he was drafted? Yes, sadly, I, I've I've been aware that he's uh, he went number one. Uh, what? But you know huh? what? He deserves it. Hey, thanks. Wait. I'm so talking about sober, wait, not Luca. <laughs> sober. Oh fuck. Oh, now who's the dick asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was on the phone. I was trying to, to cover it. Oh, I was oh, on the phone. We'll see how it is. Come on the show and go. This guy's taking phone calls during the elitist, dude. It's absolutely terrible. But. What I was saying, Joe, do you know where Sober was drafted in this draft without looking? Yeah, uh, almost last, or if not last, something, something around there. He was number 60. He was Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. Having said that, is it, what happened there? Why? And this can go for Joe or Luca or even Sober, because I don't know the reason. I, matter of fact, when we were doing the show... I didn't realize he was still there. I thought he was gone. I just took it for granted that he was gone. 
And, uh, you know, last pick came up and his name popped up. I said, wait, what? <laughs> you fucking kidding me? So what happened? Those Whoever wants it. Out, I'll, I can finish it. But... Fuck uh, if I know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Didn't I... you go th third last year? Last season? <laughs> yeah. And then you yes. had 60... Yeah. I, is that like the biggest swing ever? Like I don't I, know. it has it's to be. Gotta be. It's got to be. There's some <laughs> somewhere in that neck of the woods. Yeah. So, just to break it down, season two he led the league in scoring. I'm not sure if everybody's aware of that. He was number one in points. Is that is that a fact? Points hits. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty, pretty so. Pretty sure, really. <laughs> okay. Season two you led the league in points. Season three you also had a very good offensive output. Um, on a playoff team that, that won their first round, got bounced in round two, season four was the Dank Love experiment. You got bounced around like a cheap slot, okay? I was, that team, was fun, to team, to team, to team, to team, and, fucking, and then uh, you ended up on the Raw Dogs. Fucking miles on that shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. And once I got what, uh... the Raw Dogs, that team started kind of turning it around a little bit. They did I, in the last two weeks. Horn. Yeah, it, it was competitive. We didn't get blown out. I think we actually nope. won a series there too. Um, you did, didn't you win two? I thought you won two. I, I, it might have been two. It might have been two. Um, yeah, I thought you won two. Um, but listen, here, here's my point. Mm -hmm. I talked to a few captains. I said, "Did you get like uh, okay?" I talked to Dom, who I I know, mm -hmm. like Dom is a sober guy. And I said, dude, how, how did you pass on him? He's like, it's not that I passed on him. It's that I had my wingers early, and he didn't fit in my team. Yeah. So, like, you know, from round two or three on or wherever he picked his wingers, like, he was never going to take you mm -hmm. because of he already had the what, – what, where's he going to play you? You know, D? Yep. You're not, he's not going to play you on D. So, like, he's like, no, like – He's like, I was hoping he would make it to me an optional. So I was like, why would you want him an optional? Now he's going to sit? He's like, I know. It's it's ridiculous. Like, And this happened to a few guys, right? There are mm -hmm. a few guys taken in that optionals. They should be starting. But because of the fucking madness and because of the extras and all the extra signups, guys that... Shit too. Yeah, I mean, that helped you drop. But again, I think a lot of these people scouted. You didn't scout. Mm-hmm. And guys like Wizzy War and guys like Wolin and guys like, you know, wh whoever else that, that I don't know personally, they went early and you didn't because hashtag Chem was yeah. found in the preseason or in the pre-draft, I mean, and and they're sober just sitting there. So I think a lot and that happened to a lot of guys who didn't scout. And and to be honest, look at the, know, like, look at the like names. for me, I, I wasn't even really even approach for scouting um and once 18 dropped i found myself playing more d slash goalie you know just to make six you know you get a group and oh fuck we don't have a goalie i'm like fuck it i'll play goalie so like i wasn't really even playing forward at all really in 18 unless i did drop-ins with like viper and that well look at the captain's list i mean everybody knows sober do you need to scout sober? You know what you get with him. You know, like you're a power forward. At least this is how I view you. You're a grimy power forward that's great on the forecheck and can bury a goal. Like that's, if I was to give you a description, that that's what I'd give you. Like I think every team should have someone like that, you know. But anyways, whatever. It's it's neither here nor there. I mean, you're on the best team, so I'm, no I'm, harm, no foul. I, to be honest, I'm happy. I mean, I I. But listening oh, to the yeah. draft, listening to the draft, I was like, okay, yeah, all right, yeah, that, that makes sense, yeah. okay, yeah. And then I, I go into the, like, fourth, fifth round, I'm like, I'm not being fucking drafted, what the fuck? And then when I saw that I did get drafted, I was like, huh. And then I looked at the squad, I'm like, well, okay, I'll, I'll go last pick every every round, <laughs> every draft, if I could get on a team like that. It's like a drug monkey wet dream, man. That's what yeah. he wants. Like, yeah. he doesn't want fifth overall, man. But he, uh, I know you listen to this shit, drug. You're gonna go high. Maybe you should. I don't know. Just like I said. But that that's that's his point, man. It's uh. Wait a minute. Hey, he's not. Gonna I have talk. to stop this show. 
he's not. He's, oh, okay. Yeah. He's just coming in to listen. All right. All right. I won't even bring it up then. But <laughs> since we are talking, that that that's what that's what he wants to. Uh, you know, that that's every good player wants to fall. They want to fall so they can play with other good players. But at some point, something has to give. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you fell way too far. It was insane how far you fell in that draft. Um, and there were still guys taken in the optionals that I can't believe were optionals. And then you had guys that didn't get drafted at all, and now they got an expansion team. So I wanted to hit on that. Uh, Jumbo, did you know about that, the expansion team that we made? Yes, I did hear about that. Um, got to play a few games with those uh, guys, too. They might surprise mm-hmm. a few teams, actually. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm pretty excited for them. They have a good goalie. NJ Devil is mm-hmm. a good goalie. Okay. And we played this team the other night. Uh, Dead Wrong, a.k.a. Jordan. Some of you know him as Jordan. Uh, some of you know him as you know Dead Wrong. They had him on wing at first, and we played him the other night, and we smashed him. It was gross. Uh, it wasn't even close. Oh, yeah. They moved him. They moved him to center, and they moved Jelly to wing, and that changed the whole outlook on that team. And I think they put um, A. Thompson back on left D, and that changed everything. They looked like a completely different team. Um, Dead wrong is a natural center. For those that don't know, uh, he's pretty slick with the puck. I feel like he went undrafted just because no one knows who the fuck he is. Period. So. That's why he went undrafted. But that you're right, Joe. That team that could surprise a lot of people. Like you think, yeah, if you I'm think really you're gonna cool. roll over them and they're gonna go winless, it's not gonna happen. I guarantee that. Mm-hmm. Who do you like on that team, Joe? So it's, I'm just off the top of my head. You get Jordan or Dead Wrong, sorry, Op Jelly, um, Devils and Net, A Thompson, Walker's Town Rangers on that team. This is just off the top of my head. If anyone can think, of anyone else is on that squad. You know what? I think uh, they've got Spot. some good players. Nobody stands mm-hmm. out as you know a crazy player, but if they work together, and they might be able to pull it off uh, here and there. Get a few hey, hey, I would love, would love it. Quick question: uh, Is is Soup actually going to play for that team? No. I, I, yeah. I, I no, he rejected it. Yeah, I heard there's a little bit of uh, soup drama with that. Um, no. To put it plain, no, he's not playing on that team. Uh, and then as well, just FYI, if you didn't see your G chat, Shock will join if you want. Shock. Okay, first, can you believe this shit? You can. <laughs> he's. This is the most elusive guy. In the fucking league. You are, Shock. You are the most elusive guy in the league. You're hard to track. You're hard to scout. You're hard to get a hold of. But here he is. Welcome to the show, Shock. How are we doing tonight? Ooh, what time? I'll be watching. Yeah, I'll be definitely watching. Have you guys been getting a lot of games in, or...? Ooh. I wasn't playing though. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that a shot fired at, at at putting it in? Brick couldn't beat us. It sounds like a it sounds like a shot. A little baby shot. Ooh. Well, that brings, I actually have a question about that because there was a lot of, like when we were doing the pre-draft stuff, I didn't know where you were playing. So I was trying to figure out who you were going to take, and I saw you in net, and we ran into you guys in a preseason game. You were in net. So I was like, oh, fuck, he's, he's playing net, and you played good, by the way. Um, so I'm like, man, he's definitely going to take drug if he's in net, and people are like, no, he's playing center. And I was like, huh, okay, because I saw him in net. Oh, um, hey, hold on, hold on, Chuck. Did you yeah. check your little box? Yeah, you should. You should have a. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, what's called? You hey, welcome to the show, round Shock. Two. How's it going, <laughs> <Yeah>. man? <laughs> yeah. You uh. 
Yeah. At first, it was like, oh, he's not joining. I'm like, oh, okay, I just want to check the box on. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, for those who didn't get to hear Shock's responses, basically it was just, you know, well, you get, Shock, what did you say? You can, i will let you do it. Okay, so la- last night we played two preseason uh, mini series against Megilla and Ability. Beat them both. The only reason Megilla won the first game is because we had to play with the computer because I lagged out. And I was sitting there wondering, why the fuck did I lag out? I never lag out. Look, looked at the settings and realized my Xbox switched to wireless for some reason. Gross. So, as soon as we got that fixed, we beat beat them 4-3 and 6-3. And then... Uh, How do they look? Like... Their, te- their team's looking good. Honestly, I actually really wanted to face you in the dot, Luca. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know. Face-offs, like, sometimes, like, the game is, like, fucked up sometimes. Like, it pisses me off. That's all you could comment on that. <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather let him talk about it. Yeah, sometimes it just favors one. Shock, how have you found yourself in the circle this year on 18? You're playing some um, right now, like you, right now I'm, percentage-wise. I was looking at my stats, and I'm sitting just under 70% right now. That's elite. So, I remember the first I mean, that's game I played in, in center in 18, I beat the guy 30-3, to three, so... <laughs> that's a good one. I can't really say I mean, much on that game, though. It was a drop and scrub, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I mean, like, like, so here's, like, when we're playing, like, we're scrimmaging people, right, and we're playing with our squad in EASHL, I'll go in there and for two straight games, I'll be like, oh, that felt good. You know, I won 60 to 65%, 70%, great, awesome. And then all of a sudden you get in the next game and you're literally hitting at a 30% clip. And you're like, what the fuck is so yeah. different between what I did last game and what I did this game? It, it I can't quite connection. figure it out yet, so. Yeah, connection. Yeah. Connection's a big thing. Yeah. And uh, another thing, too, a center is knowing all the counters. Mm-hmm. Uh, like last night, when we, when, uh, in game, it was game three, McGilla brought in NHL kid who isn't even in the league to come play center for him. I guess Burke oh, had to go. And don't get me wrong, NHL kid, or Sandra, or some people know him, is a really good center and gave me a good test because he knows every counter and I know every counter. So it was just kind of a chess match the whole game. <laughs> yeah, but if you know every counter, how are you, how are you supposed to win against each other? It's just going to be tie-ups every day. <laughs> oh, that's what it ended up being a lot of the time. And then that's you start doing the counter to the, the tie-up. I hate tie-ups because the wingers, if, if your winger's not paying attention, it's a lost draw. Yep. Yep. It was funny because he started tying me up, so I did the counter to the uh, to the tie up. Oh, so you went forehand? Okay. Yeah. Well, what you do um, is you with the tie up because if you sit um, backhand, even if they go to tie you up, if you switch to forehand at the last second and win it back, ninety percent of the time it'll cancel the tie up and you win it. It's yeah, a quick switch. You, you got to really learn the. Uh, you really have to learn the timings of the uh, puck drops in each zone. So to basically, be able to you, hold, down. you hold like backhand, and then you wait for his arm to move, and you switch to forehand and flick, click, flick down. Yeah. Yeah. And you. So, and usually it'll win it. Secrets. Secrets. Ding, ding, yep. Ding, <laughs> well, I but these are things that, too. especially starting last, they're not really or secrets. last game, it really works so well. Uh, it's something that a lot of centers should know by now. I agree. So. Have either of you guys, the centers here, in Joe too, I know you play center, have you ever fucked with the LB? LB? Like on deep? the circle. Like deep nope. through the... No. Like when you're going to take a draw, let's say you're lining up backhand, okay? So you're going to line up backhand, and you're going to take a draw. So right before they the ref starts moving, if you hold in LB, and this is just something I've been fucking with the last few days... Like, just, just hold it in and take the draw. I felt like I was winning a lot more clean backhands that way, and I don't know if it was in my head or not, but it's just something to try if you're messing around and kind of give a report on that, what you found. I'll try it tonight and let you know. What are you doing? Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, then I, just, hmm? I, I just got sent a message. Uh, Pog says he's going to destroy you, Shock. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Right. Pogs and I Pogs always is have good. good battles in the dot. Pogs is good on on faceoffs. I, I play on Pogs as LG yeah, team, on. so <laughs> he re there you go, Unfor he resigned me, but unfortunately he resigned me at defense. <laughs> Ooh, so, so how does that work over there? It's like a like re up contracts or something. Resign? Yeah, you if yeah, yeah, they can resign okay. you for up to two seasons. I think it is. Oh, okay. So that's pretty neat. Basically, if they want to keep you instead of putting you back in the in the uh, bidding. Gotcha. So. You just said that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I did. It's you pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's early. You know, it the only true. thing is with resigning, you always have to give them the uh, next step up against your salary cap in the league. So, like every player starts off in LG at five hundred thousand. And so obviously this season now I'm at 750 because that's the next step up. Okay. That's the only that's thing to the resignings is you have to up the amount. Hmm. Well, now we got we got a full panel in here now, man. We start we were just starting with Stealth Luca and then uh, I saw what were you talking about when they came in? showed up. Oh, just uh, the fact we that I went 60th. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yikes. And then I was saying how drug like his wet dream was to fall. He always wants to fall. He never falls, obviously, but he always <laughs> wants to fall to like round two or three. You know, top top yeah. talents want to play with other top talent. I mean, it's the thing, but that's not always the way it works. But sober went all the way to sixty from three. So we were talking about that before you get in. Yeah, I was laughing at that because Sober was in the party during the draft when we were doing the last couple of rounds, and Drug and I, I'd be like, but Sober's there, and Drug's like, no, you're taking Yeti. <laughs> yeah, that, that wow. kind of hurt my feelings. <clears throat> yeah. It's because Yeti, Yeti's played for me in seasons before. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. See, um, I also, here's during... One. Going into the draft, everyone was like, oh, we never scouted. I scouted, and I also had inside sources for all a lot of the X BS players coming in. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was already Yeah, Drug and Nick the know all them. Yeah, Drug, Nick, Phoenix, they all know each other from XBS. Yep. So. yep. Even my goalie. So. Now, hold on. Let me, Phoenix, I had, I got, let me, now that you're in here. That, yeah. pick that pick that you made number two with Phoenix, a lot of people went, huh? Yeah, so my... now that you're here on the air, explain that pick at number two. Um, what I wanted to do right away this season was I wanted, because I didn't want to play defense this season, I wanted to make sure that I had a solid uh, defenseman to go along with Drug, and I wanted to get that out of the way right away. Because I know with how deep the draft was, forwards would be available no matter what. Mm -hmm. So I was, I wanted to get um, the defenseman set as early as I could, and with picking Phoenix up that early, the reason why is because I played against him in multiple seasons. I've seen how he played. So, and what a lot of people don't realize with me is when I'm playing throughout the season, I'm also already scouting for the next season, watching these players play. Mm -hmm. So I look towards. That to be like, oh, um, this player plays really good. Maybe I'll pick him up next season, so on and so forth. And I'm pretty sure Daly does the same thing. Oh, yeah, he's all, yep, he, he is. And this is, okay, so this is what I heard from a lot of people when you took Phoenix. Holy shit, he would have been there. He would have been there. Why did they take him so early? To Daly's point, it doesn't matter, okay, where you get your guys. You position yourself to get the roster that you want. It doesn't matter if you have to take Esoteric at third overall, even though he doesn't deserve to go there. Okay, If this is the way you want to construct your team, you get the picks where you can get them. Okay, so like... And I understand that. Like, And I've you know built teams and stuff, and like, if, if you wrote five names down, you're like, okay, this is the exact team I want. Can I make it happen? And you figure out if you can make it happen. And you just move your picks around to wherever you have to. You didn't move a goddamn thing. Did <laughs> nope. you get everyone you wanted? I did. See? So you knew. Ex you knew. Except you for Clancy. 
I, I, I was, I tested the waters a little bit to see how far the draft uh, and the other captains would let me go in getting my team from last season. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now four of my seven players, including myself, are from the previous team. And I yep. was laughing at a uh, like, especially uh, Cortez's comment on their show about how. They're like, oh, it's a different team. It's not going to make a difference if you got all your teammates back. We're already proving in the preseason it's making a difference. So, yeah, man. I mean, look, it's a real thing when you play with the same people over and over. Because sober, it's me, you, and Brick up front right now. And, and you know, we've probably played, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, nine. I don't know how many games we've played. Some games go extremely well. Some games are a struggle. You're still <clears throat> feeling that out, right? Yeah. So, like, these guys who pl who play together all the time and and have a familiarity, have played with other leagues, et cetera, et cetera, um, they don't have to go through that growing pain. They can just hit the ice and do what they always do. Joe hates talking about chemistry. I promised him we wouldn't do that. Um, hi, Joe. <laughs> Yo, are you off the phone now? Are you off the phone now? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <clears throat> so let me, uh, well, Joe, let me. I'm gonna throw you this one, Joe. Did you see a team out there? I, I know you, you, you know what the rosters pretty much look like. That you were just <laughs> grossed out by. You didn't like the draft. You didn't like. Well, I'll um, say this well, at the start, right off the bat, when Daly picked uh, Brick. <laughs> I thought, mm -hmm. and you, if you were in the chat, you've seen, you seen what I thought. Um, I, I wouldn't have picked him there. Brick, to me, when I've played with him, he doesn't even communicate. And for me, a top player communicates with his team. And, you know, like, like D-Mart or, uh, or Rome or um, Drug, he also communicates with his team all the time. I don't know mm -hmm. anything about Brick City communicating, so that's why I wouldn't have picked him there. But uh, I'm sure Daly has has his reasons. What about S? Um, but we'll, but okay. S okay. Hmm? So go what ahead. What about S? We go on third. S <laughs> communicates. His gameplay is sketchy at times, but he communicates, so he's got that. <laughs> I'll go to the brick comment real quick. He has been uh, communicating. There are times where he's not as vocal. But um, he's the type of player, and this is good, I think, especially when you haven't played with them very long, a uh, certain team. He'll tell you if he hates it. Like, he has an abrasive way about him, too. Okay. So if you, have, if you have thick baby skin, you probably don't want to play with Brick City. Thankfully, Daly didn't uh, draft any snowflakes. You know what I'm saying? So like we can all handle it. Like If he's like, yo, you got to do this here. Yo, yo, go down low here. You know what I mean? Like uh, There's like a nice way of doing it, and then there's the Brick way of doing it. He's going to do it the Brick way, but he wants to win, and he wants, to, he wants people to improve. Christ sakes, he went into the... Yeah. Uh, Brick, went, Brick went into the... Uh, we smashed the the Daily's rejects nine nothing the other day, and he's like, "Fuck this! I'm going in their party." He goes in their party. I don't know what he said because I wasn't there. I heard but he come back. Mm -hmm. He came back in and he goes, "Man, they probably hate me now." But like, what'd you do? He's like, "No, it's just bullshit. That's not even fun. They need to, you know, they need to, uh, they need to get Thompson on lefty. They were so much better with him there. They need to move this there. They need to do that. They need, you know, protection in front of Devil. And then we go out and play him the next game. They were a completely different team." So he like, he's a he wants to in competitive games. He that nine nothing. He doesn't want that. Um, mm -hmm. You know he's a he's a smart player, and uh, you know he he'll, he'll tell you what he thinks. If you can't handle that, then you can't handle playing with him. You know that's Dude, there, there's, that's there's what I'll say nice, about that. There's the nice guy that doesn't say shit. There's Brick, and then there's that one <laughs> step beyond yeah. that though. Like, like, Brick isn't even that bad for, for what he says. For what he says. Shit. <laughs> no. Uh, Are you talking about Legion? Uh, no, well, Legion doesn't know his ass from the ground. He, he, he can fucking say shit, but he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, but, yeah, so, <clears throat> like I said, there, there's, that, well, there's that happy medium. You know, it's, it's, it's criticism, but it's to a point where it's, it's easily taken. Yeah, but when a guy yeah. only comments when he's 
giving criticism. That's not a good thing either. I'm talking about a guy who says nice play or, you know, when you make a nice play, you want, you want somebody to recognize it, right? You don't, somebody who just criticizes you all the time, that's not a good communication. He's like Belichick, though. He, he, you're supposed to do that. Okay. You're supposed to make that pass. You're supposed to score that goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hey, man. Okay. Tough love. You know, get on. I, if you want to jump on Jill. his back. Oh. Thanks, Luca. And you're also a good pick at number one, and that's why. Because you, can, you communicate. I played with you. <laughs> and, uh, we, had, we had something there. You know, I'm not going to say chemistry, wrong, but, but you, you were know, good you... and I was good. That's oh, the fucking hashtag. No, Fuck. it's not chemistry. <laughs> it's not chemistry. He was playing good and I was playing good. That's so combined that together. We had a good team. It's not. I just we both had chem. That doesn't make sense. I just think <laughs> if you're a smart player, you can play with anyone. If you communicate with everyone, then you'll do fine. Well, obviously, I'm. Yes, a dumb exactly. I agree. Well, looking, looking at the. But the... Joe. Hazel. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not going to read it verbatim, but um, in our team chat, um, okay. Rick came, went in there, and he wrote uh, a pretty large paragraph, and it was all positive. So, he's not well, always... Shit, I'm going to have to see this. Okay. Um, okay. You're not going to, because it's our team chat. <laughs> how how often do you play with Daily, Joe? Yeah, Daly always says point. nice play. He's and he, he does. says, "I see you, number nineteen Or he, you know, he says little comments <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. Daly's, he recognizes good play. Daly's a high strong yam. guy, though. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah there you that, go. That, you should hear him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot I mean, he'll he'll, he'll do the same thing, it. and he'll tell Yam why. Be like, that was a stupid fucking play, Yam. Why did you make that fucking play? Where, he's like, where were you supposed to go with that? Yam will go behind the net. Yes, behind the net. Well, I don't want to just always throw it behind the net. He's like, yes, you do if it's always open, you know. <laughs> and then Yam will go, oh, fuck, all right, all right, all right. I'll go behind the fucking net, you know. But uh, It needs to be said, man. And Daly, Daly yep. knows what it takes to be a winner. So if he doesn't Do say simple anything, plays. who will? Mm -hmm. yeah, simple, simple plays. Play. Keep it simple. That's right. Move it oh. quick. Simple plays. I I, uh, I have a question. Are you guys surprised uh, King Rome is playing defense? Yes. Barry. Yes, hundred percent. I'm not surprised. It's a waste. Oh. He's been trying well, to play no, defense for the last few seasons. He he was. It's he not was, a waste. Uh, though. I disagree with that. Uh, he went D with Kayla back in season one. Was it? Last time she was a cat. I wasn't here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but Chalk, since you chimed in, maybe you can tell us a little because I haven't seen really Rome on D. Um, would you put him up there with the likes of the drugs and the mooses and the sea doos and stuff like that? I would, but as everyone else said, I I'd prefer him at center. Mm hmm. And I know he signed up the last few seasons, I believe, as preferred right D, but he's always had center willing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he always just ends up, he'll, I've seen him play a few games at center in the preseason and that, and then during the season he's back to center. So, it's... That was DJ's number one pick. Yep. Yeah. I think we all be... took it for granted that he'd be the center. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does with his lineup with Romandi and to see how that works and to see if Rome gets a chance to stay at D all season or if he'll be mm -hmm. moved up to that center position once more. So if they start getting, you know, goal anemic, maybe DJ makes a switch, you know, and, and puts him up at center. But for the start, for the start I guess he's playing D. He's playing D. <laughs> He doesn't have quick center quick. of use. Don't believe so. And quick, no. quick question, completely unrelated. Does anyone know if FIFA 18 is even out yet? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, it, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just asking because the game is not letting me install it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Random technical difficulties. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Moving along. 
You know, I, one I thing I want to talk Joe. about with my team really fast that I want to clear up yeah. because ability fucked it up is Ozzy's not playing left wing this season. <laughs> the two left wings that I was talking about when I sent him the message on the Thursday throwdown were Yeti and Nick, who both play similar uh, play styles. And Yeti mm-hmm. actually put in our team chat today that he will shut down any forward one on one when he's playing. Oh Jesus Christ! He so, really just so he, shut he's, his he's, mouth. <laughs> like, like, he's confident going into the season, and he played well, and he's playing well. So, and that's what I'm liking year. right now is that uh, <laughs> right now I, I one thing that I always build my team on is I always have a I always uh, draft for depth. So, for example, last season uh, AC really stepped up and filled in when uh, Nick. Uh, went on vacation for two weeks during the season, mm-hmm. so we so we were missing Nick from halfway through the season to, until playoffs. So and AC yeah. really stepped and... up there, and I'm giving him a shout out right now because I think even now uh, he's underrated because he can fill in anywhere. I haven't seen him play net, but he can fill in pretty much anywhere, and he'll be able to uh, fit right in and do his job in that position. And real quick, Nick, Nick the Greek, he might be one of the most under the radar players in all league's history because he doesn't say much. He doesn't. He's never on any form. He's never in a chat box. He's uh, he just shows up for his games and he plays. So he always flies under the radar, you know. Yeah. Um, and he's also he's always only a guy. had two seasons in the league. Right. Am I, I'm talking about past leagues, too. I mean, he's the same person uh, in no matter what league I've been in him with. So um, he's always a guy that falls because, like, he, he doesn't have, like, league-wide friends, it seems. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how often yeah. to say that. Like, he, he has his core that he plays with, and that's about it. So he just, like, unless you know who he is, you're probably not on a radar. You know what I'm saying? And he always gets on good teams and gets to play with his guys and smart on him. I think Maybe he just hates all one, of us. One thing that hurt him, I think, in the drafts, at least for 239, is his first season here was on DJ's last place team. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. So, And then yeah. the, his second season was with my team. Yep. So, he and he really... Sh- when he was in there. Oh, yeah, he did. He yeah. uh, really stood out, especially in the playoffs. He's a very good four-checker. And he can put the he can pass and he can put the puck in when he needs to. Yeah, he so does he, it all, and he's man. a good all and, around uh, player. He's good at covering. If he back continues and... to, yeah, <laughs> and if he continues to keep flying under radars, man, he'll always end up on teams like yours. You know, um, unless yep. uh, another captain decides to snag him up. He does seem to always have like uh, availability things you know like he'll be missing like a couple weeks here or there or like he won't be available or whatever yeah. but like if uh, you draft a good season, backup like you have yeah this season is not bad he's only missing four days and it's over a weekend so yeah it's not bad at all <sighs> what else are we touching on here boys uh i mean how about how ozzy fell so late <laughs> puts up Did almost 80 points in his wrong? rookie season yeah. He fell to the third round, and that's, that's where I crazy. got. And Clancy was fourth. Yeah, it was third round. Wasn't it? Yeah, and Clancy was fourth round. And if Pale didn't pick him up, I was picking Clancy two picks later. Both those players should at least went in the first or second round in the rookie season, putting up almost eighty points each. Mhm. Mhm. And listen, and Pale needed him. He did. He needed him bad. And, and, Though and right now comments. it's not working out too well. Anybody want to comment on the the whole pale possibly benching himself? I didn't even hear about this. Mm-hmm. Okay, why don't you talk about it? Because I'm not, it's first time hearing of it. I, I've I've heard I've heard rumors that uh, pale he, he's moving one, so he might be sitting himself, obviously due to that. But depending on how things goes, he might sit himself. Okay. Hmm. So it's not. I know. Like, um, I have the night we like played the pale... season, or for you know, like as of right now, for his team, he's just benching himself, or what? What the hell the deal is? But yeah. 
I know, um, no, um w we scrimmed against Pale as well. It was only one game just because it was like midnight when we played. And, um, after, um, one of his players, I was talking to one of his players and he was saying Pale was getting really frustrated the game before he played a net and he got lit up by an LGCHL team apparently. Uh, like mm -hmm. six, seven, nothing or something. And then uh, well, when he played against us, he played on defense, and it was a good game, but um, just the way the puck was bouncing in that, you could tell he was getting frustrated. Like, anyone would have got frustrated this game. The puck bounces are insane. Mm. It's but, the uh, pickups, dude. That's, like, the yeah, pickups that's what are I've so heard, bad. though, is he's getting, really, so uh, he's getting really frustrated with the play that's been happening. So that might mm -hmm. be a reason for it. Yeah, I mean, combine that with moving, and you might as well just take a breather. Yeah. You know, let the team you drafted do the work and, and put in your due diligence as captain until it's time to come back or whatever, you know. And that's um, what I'm doing next season. I'm taking a breather from captaining. Really? The OG yeah. going to finally go in the pool? Believe it. When for, I it for, but, uh, <laughs> for a season. Did, did, and did, weren't <laughs> wow. you just saying you're scouting for next season already? So, like... Was that like? Usually that's what I do, but the season I just kind of want to focus on our team, on my team, and uh, how we're playing. Interesting. So yeah, but I, I, I yeah, you just gotta hit that too one more four time. or five seasons that's in a row now, so I need a <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> yeah, I did it once. Uh, and I was all set with it. Joe? Yes? Um, well, Esso, we got a question for you from the chat here. How is Esso's voice so damn beautiful? Can you answer? Or is that just genetic? How is think? it so beautiful? That must be, is that McSwagger? It's got to be McSwagger. Uh, Ergie. Who? Ergie989, I believe that's Agent, isn't it? Yeah. It could be wrong. Oh. Yeah, that's Agent, man. You know what it is? Is like I have a little Woody over Agent's voice. I think he's got a great voice for radio, you know. So like, uh, maybe he's just repaying me the compliment. Speaking of Agent, um, his team I wanted to touch on real quick before we before we wrap it up. It's like flying under the radar, and like no one's really talking about him as much. I haven't again. I haven't heard the other shows from earlier in the week. Maybe they were touched on, um, and I will listen to them. Because I'm a big fan of the two, three, nine shows. However, um, I heard from a couple different people who have played that team that they're going to be really good. Take that for what it's worth. Um, they seem to be flying under the radar, but um, I think he's happy with his squad. And um, he had a plan. He had those four picks in a row. He used them how he wanted to, and uh, they might make some noise this year. What I was much noise is putting it in, but. Yeah. <laughs> Agent's the one that grabbed uh, Pogs and Tomps, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why? Um, that's the only thing in the draft that really confused me. Why he drafted two centers? Uh, I'm wondering Ooh. where, because uh, Tomps wanted to play center as well. So I wonder where he's playing. I think he's playing D. D, D right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's he's enough, a good defenseman as well. I was just wondering. Out center, sorry. I thought Agent was... Uh, yeah, right but Agent... Out. Yeah, he's going to play wing. Which is good news for center. Uh, not really, because he... Agent's really good in the circle. Sometimes... Like, he's either way on or way off, it seems. But, like, when he's on, he's uh, it's he's annoying as shit. But Pogs is always... Really good in the circle, so... He's got one of the best draw guys. I mean, that's, that's where he's going to play. I put him up like Hugh Laurie, Pogs... Um, who else is really staunch on in the circle? Certainly not me. Uh, uh, I'm sure sure really good. Really good. We we play Lamp yeah, week not... one very first series, so <laughs> that's gonna be a good test. Oh yeah, we play DC and Marty in the first week. So. Marty squad, that's right. The Hut Heroes, man. He took the power couple first. A lot of people didn't like it. 
My first series is against Daily. Oh. That'll mean, be fun. You mean me and Sober? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, yeah, yeah. okay. Cue the music. Who do you want at center, me or Brick? <laughs> huh? It, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, D-Mart just asked like how many highlights are Saini and Luca dropping this season. <laughs> well, I forgot. Have to wait till after week one. Obviously. I forgot how good Saini was. But um, honestly, he didn't impress me last night. What? I don't Ooh. know. I didn't play yesterday. I don't know how they played. Uh, I love shock. Did he just comes in here and? <laughs> I. But the thing is, though, everybody is I've, on blast. I've played with. I've played against Saini since. Uh, back in other leagues and that. So for like five, six, maybe seven years, is I've been playing, playing against Saini. So. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think he is. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Luca, but, yeah. look. You're gonna get one of us. Uh, I don't know who it's gonna be. That's gonna be Daly's call. He's still looking at, you know. Oh, uh, it's gonna be me. Left, or brick left or? I think it's I never think, gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I think Brick's better at left wing, and you're better at center. Like, I tend to agree with that. And but we both, Brick and I, so far from what we've seen here, um, the draws are here to miss with both of us. To be honest, uh, sometimes we'll be really good. Sometimes we shit our pants in the circle. So, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the defining thing. We'll see. We'll see who wins more of them yeah. and go from there. I don't know. We'll see. Usually I'm decent on them. I, I hate losing them, so I try my like best Like with two to win. seconds left? Like particularly, do you hate losing them? Like with two seconds to go? In the who won that zone? series? Oh, no. Yeah, I know, but we were talking about face-offs. We weren't really talking about the <laughs> series, though. We were talking about that, like big face-off losses in your own zone after you ice the puck. That's, that's kind of uh, what we were talking about. That series, I beat you in draws, so it's okay. Did you add them up? Like, were, were you waiting for this conversation to come up someday? You're like, oh, no. Well, that's what actually... People don't forget, man. <laughs> I just, yeah. Like, I think every center kind of knows if they won or lost, so I just keep a, a like in my a memory in my brain just to know. No, I hear you, man. I went up against Rome, and uh, the the boys, boys, boys regular season series, and I got them. So I remember that. Yeah, I beat him too. Uh, he beat us in the playoffs. So it doesn't matter. And he beat us in that series as well. So, again, it's what really matters, I guess. Uh, but for that one game, I mean, me and Peaceful Bob let you taste it. You know what I'm saying? So it was that was pretty fun. I still can't believe it. So I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Can I uh, bring something up? Yeah. All the different uh, power rankings that have been coming up. Mm-hmm. My my team has just been loving them because everyone's putting us at the bottom except for uh, Hansel Roberto or whatever. He put mm. us fifth. But um, so they put at the very bottom or just like in the bottom uh, few or tenth and eleventh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and, not happening. I don't. I'm sorry. To but if you that read them, those, that's not a thing. Yeah, but if you read them, it's like. Everyone's like, well, it's because we really don't know what they're going to do. And that's why I picked my team name this season, Dark Horse. Because last mm -hmm. season, and uh, I forget who said it in there, I, no one really knows how my teams are going to go. So my teams are usually the Dark Horse in the league. But they're so. always good. But they're always good. Yeah, and that's the thing is they're... my teams are always rated low. So you love it. Oh, yeah. It just means there's less expectations on us, and we can just focus on our game. And that, that's the best. And part just about like it. the little message I left for daily on the uh, draft sheet, because how he was uh, calling me out for being AFK during the uh, pre-draft uh, show, and I left a little note for him, and I asked uh, Sniper to put it in there, and it said AFK or stealing the cup. Because <laughs> last season we almost did that without Ozzy because he, his game kept on crashing as soon as it started and putting AC in we brought Black Sails to game 7 overtime after being down 3-1 I was watching nobody cares I couldn't man. believe nobody it cares. <laughs> nobody cares <laughs> nobody cares 
so, so, so shocked. Like you shock. guys with your your little minor details. It doesn't there's, matter. There's, there's there's been a little minor minor thing too that has been floating around. So, did you get all your stats in last season? Ah, uh, except for the last game, because I kind of lost the photos. Oh. How, how if, does that happen? Uh, hold on. How do you lose photos? Hold on. How is it? How do I lose photos? I got corrupted. Oh, when I transfer them over to my when I transfer them over to my computer so I could actually read them, they got corrupted. So why, why didn't you just? Who in here is buying that? Did they get corrupted? Why don't I put them on my taken? Xbox? Because yeah. I took them on my phone. Yeah. No, I took them. Just, just double click. I take them every game. <laughs> I don't do the Xbox well, ones nice because sometimes they don't show up. Just showing up and playing. Oh, that's another There's thing. Why is the scoreboard it? ready yet? The season starts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think I, you could. I, yeah, I want to see the system because I want to learn it. I know everybody wants to learn it and see it and shit, but trust me when I tell you, like, it's not going to be a learning curve. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be like, what do yeah. I do? Literally, a monkey could do this shit. It's that easy. Perfect. It's point and click. And, and, like, you can't fuck it up. If you do, please just off yourself. It's that easy. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I think, and that was one of the things with uh, LG. They got tired of people fucking it up. So, literally, now all you have to do is hit one button and it puts the stats in for you. <laughs> so, simple is better, I find, That's in cool. a lot of leagues. Going back I mean, it's to... literally point and click. Yes, Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, going back to one of the power rankings, I think Legion just copied someone's and then did his own. What do you think of Legion's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Legion's was of, funny. Yeah. I laughed at his comment about um, Jeff King. He's like, they have my son on right wing. They have to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that thing's still going on. Man, That's that's been... That's been a thing now for what, like six years, real life years. He's actually good on right so, wing. Biff King. Oh, he a lot is. Of people, yeah, a lot of people thought he, he was going to be playing goalie because Pale took him like I don't know, fifteenth. They're probably something oh, like that. Wow. Yeah, why you pick him so early? I mean, but he's playing right wing. Now, would, I would played you, would you, would you on his team that for early? the first two seasons. As a right, um, um, right wing was kind of slim. This well, for the most part. Well, I don't. Re I didn't really scout or anything, so I, I can't really comment. But I wouldn't have taken him that early. But like t third round at least. Yeah. <laughs> from from <laughs> playing with him, I will <laughs> I got a second. I gotta ask Joe real quick. Because I'm gonna forget. You like D Mart's team? You were talking about, okay? Yeah, um, mm -hmm, for sure. They're gonna have a really good team, and now they have a real right defenseman too. So, okay. It's kind of. Right. Yeah, go on. What? What's the question? Again? You're wasting time, no, no. man. People have things <laughs> no, no, to do. What's the question? I just, I thought, you know, I thought I'd ask, like, now that they have a legitimate uh, superstar right defenseman there in Jofus, man, Fuck I think they might, uh, they, they could go all the way. <laughs> I think okay, that's so maybe one no of the question. pieces they might have to... been missing last year. You know, that's... I, I, I'm still cracking up right on Joe, Joe joined the party. I, I still, it still cracks me up. New, 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 new. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we were just about to go on the air like five minutes before. And I you guys saw are using me. Like, Let's get to <laughs> Nobody else wanted to come on here except Luca. So you guys and Shock. Yeah, we, we, we don't have friends. Oh, anymore. the elitists, We're dude. Elitist. Everybody wants to pull. Everybody wants to hang with the elitists. Come on. <laughs> if Shock's here, what's that tell you? Come on. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to wrap it up here, boys. Uh, any last uh, comments? Like, I mean, I don't know what the other guys did. Like, if we we'll go around the horn here, maybe, and be like, "Who's your champs?" Or I don't know, dark horse team. No pun intended. Shot, <laughs> but uh, shit like that, you could do that. Um, I mean, I'm gonna play myself I, out here in a second. If I were to play a dark horse, pick a dark horse team, I would pick. Honestly, I would pick Daily's Rejects. I am really interested really? in them with, with that what team. What the? Okay, all right. 
I am interested because they do have some potential there. I agree. They have. So mind they need you, to I play a I'm lot together. Praying that they don't have the Saint Curse. <laughs> but <laughs> sober knows is, is, is that real? Because I, I I've been in I've been in that situation too before. You know, many many a moon ago. Uh, where I took an undrafted team because there were so many fucking waivers. And, yeah, that didn't wind up good. I had two goalies quit on me saying I was a better goalie. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I wound up playing goalie, and it was, it was a lot of fun that season. Um, so, but, I mean, shout out to Saints. And I think we're jolly for, for, for doing that shit. I'm not really yeah. saying that they're going to yeah. be, like... Daily or Marty or any of those teams up there, but I think they're going to be at least middle of the pack. Middle I would love they're going to surprise. Them. I would, yeah. I would, lo- and I'm sure there's nothing more. They, lo- you know, they have a chip on their shoulder, right? And from what I'm hearing from Hugh Laurie and and Yam and the guys that kind of put that team uh, together and and set them up with a chat and all that, um, there's no emo in there. Everybody wants to win. Everybody's you know trying their best and. Uh, so really, kudos to them. I really want to see them do not just like win a couple games. I want to see them be in contention for a playoff spot. That would be awesome. Yeah, and that's one of the biggest things I find is having that team with no emo. Like last yeah, that's season incredible. with my team, and it's the same thing this season. If we're down in a game, we don't actually get down emotionally or anything. Don't get pissed off. We play harder. And we try to keep each other's spirits up throughout the whole game. And that's the hardest thing to do. It is. You know, you really need to find a good to group of guys. So, yeah, yeah. yeah and I mean, why stray no from emo. it? Last season, either we had no emo at all. No, you guys. Had and that's one thing I really want to bring up in leagues for people who do like to try to cause emo and that. It's a short, and it's been said many times. It's a short season. There's a quick turnaround on the seasons. If you're going to be emo about something, just wait it out. It's a short season. Play your best. Play as best as you can with your teammates. And mm-hmm. the season will be over soon enough. How long is the season this season? 44 it's, games? It's again probably, or something like that? Uh, well, no. You get, so you've got 13 teams. you got to play. So really you're playing 12 teams uh, times three. So 36 games. Yeah, 36. And then the one more. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. yeah and then so you was 36 playoffs, three weeks and then after the that? playoffs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so it's probably going to be a long two and a half months, roughly. Yeah. Two and a half. So, yeah. It'll, and it'll you're only playing twice quick. a week. Yeah. So, again, that's a good point. Um, Should we go Luca? <sighs> that's, I mean, that's... Next finisher? Luca, who, who do you have for a surprise team? Hmm. Surprise and give us somebody team. other than the rejects, because you know Shaq already went to her. No, I would. I don't think they're <laughs> gonna do that well. I think they'll finish like tenth or ninth. Um, surprise team. I think uh, Dominator Silver's Dominator team. Silver. They they look good. Um, I, see that. I think they'll do well. Because they have hashtag Cam. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I I can say you know just uh, throwing a shout out to Dom here. Um, as soon as the draft was over and was it was it that night or the following night? I saw where we were going nuts in the fucking chat box with the the Bill Cosby fucking gifts and all that shit. Uh, he, <laughs> it's it's he, always, he, but yeah, he, he started he started sending me a G chat saying. I'm, uh, you're dead to me now. I can't believe you went to the dark side. All sorts of shit. <laughs> and that's one thing about playing on Daly's team, man, is that uh, you're going to be hated because he's so abrasive and he's so ignorant and he just comes on all these me. And now, like, the half the damn... It's all media and admins and brick. <laughs> right? Yeah, brick. So, naturally, <laughs> if we're going well... You're gonna you're gonna hear about it on all the goddamn shows, and yeah. you're not gonna be able to escape it. So, that's it, it, there's a lot of motivation for it. When you're on a daily team, you get the best of everybody. 
And I, yeah. that that's how he wants it, man. And that being said, I mean... Mm. I'm, I'm so trying good. to come up with a dance for this. Like, like, you know, like... This is season. This is Yam's favorite. Season six and seven. Yeah, he, he, they're all doing the he dance. Just gotta keep doing the bell over and over and, and over, and that'll give fucking Yam a fucking heart on. <clears throat> oh, Yam loves the bell. He <laughs> he lives for the bell. Need more call though. Is it rude that we? Uh, no. Like the whole team is based show. off of like of it, it really and... matter. It's a great show, by the way. <laughs> Very wholesome show. Very good show. <laughs> it's, it's That's good all I got kiddies. this week, gentlemen. What? I just want to uh, I want to thank everybody for coming on, Luca. Um, thanks for being here, man. Joe, thank you for the uh, unbiased thanks input for me, and shock, man. All right. Shock. Thanks for popping in, dude. Good Thanks time. for uh, having us. Let's play some hockey. Yeah, it's, Let's get it it's, done. It's, it's, it's pretty early for drunk puck, but I mean, fuck, you're drunk as well. You might as well. So you know, this is the idea of doing the shit at eight. We're done early. <laughs> uh, so you know, that I actually being prefer said. Eight, what? what? Have a good week, everybody. Shout out to Imani's uh, wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it... <laughs> <laughs>